the aim of this problem is to find the total power supplied to an ideal basic circuit element at the given time and also the total energy delivered to the circuit element. The ideal basic circuit element is shown here. The reference current direction is indicated as well as the reference voltage drop across the circuit element. The voltage and current expressions are given. So the voltage and current are zero for time t less than equal to zero and they are decaying exponentials for time t greater than equal to zero. So let's get started. The first task is to find the power. So we know that power is given by power is the product of the voltage and the current. However, we need to determine whether this is plus or minus. So whether we write it with a plus sign or a minus sign. In order to do that, we need to apply the passive sign convention. And the passive sign convention says, if the current is entering the terminal marked plus, then we write the power expression with a positive sign. So once we have done this, we can now substitute the values and then simplify. So this is given by the voltage is 10,000 e raised to the power minus 5000 T. And then the current is 20 e raised to the power minus 5000 T. So the magnitudes multiply and the exponents add. So this gives us 200,000 e raised to the power minus 10,000 T watt. So this is the expression. This is the expression for the instantaneous power at any given time. In order to find the power at time one millisecond, we just substitute the value. So the power at one millisecond is, we just put the value of T as one millisecond here. So this is 200,000 E raised to the power minus 10,000. And we just substitute the value. Now this is equal to 200,000 e raised to the power minus 10. And this can be easily evaluated to show that this is 200,000 and e raised by minus 10 is 45.4 into 10 raised by minus 6. So this gives 9.08 watts. So we have completed the first task, which was to find the total power supplied to the ideal basic circuit element. Next, we need to find the total energy delivered to the circuit element. So the basic relationship between energy and power is energy is we have to integrate the instantaneous power from some initial time to a general time t in order to find the total energy delivered we need to substitute the final time as infinity and then we're starting at zero so t naught is zero so let's uh, plug in the value and then simplify. So this means the total energy transferred is integrate from zero to infinity. And then this is the expression for the instantaneous power. So we use that here. E raised power minus 10,000 tau d tau. To evaluate this integration, we can use the result 
that integral of e raised power a t dt is 1 over a e raised to the power a t. So using this we have 200,000 we can move the constant out and this is uh, 10,000 tau d tau so this is equal to 200,000 e raised power minus 10,000 tau over minus 10,000 limits are 0 to infinity so this is equal to minus 20 and then substitute the limits e raised power minus infinity minus e raised power 0 e raised to the power minus infinity is 0 and e raised power 0 is 1 so this means our answer is minus 20, 0 minus 1. So this is equal to 20 joules. So hence we have found the total energy delivered to this ideal basic circuit element.